store is locked. Are you sure she did not pass through this gate? Yes, our guy, it is very, very low. You can even go and check it. It is very, very low. What is going on? Our guy, see, eh? just relax. Eh? Calm down. Let me look for your wife everywhere in this compound. Your wife cannot get lost under my watch. As long as I, Erasmus, is still your personal security officer, your wife cannot get lost. Now just calm down. Let me, let me search for something. Amara. What kind of mystery is this? Amara. We are with him. Are you sure my wife did not pass through this gate last night? Oga, I swear with my father's grave of 1990, nobody don't pass through this gate, not even your wife. See, I'm not, the gate is still very, very locked. My, my room was also locked when I started looking for her. What kind of mystery is this? Um, um, Oga, I beg, no, no vessel, but eh? Before you marry this woman, you sabi her very, very well. What sort of question is that? Ah. Just that this thing, they remind me of something what happened for my village long time ago. One man like that will marry one fine woman. She even find past madam. After traditional marriage ceremony, the woman just disappear. Fiam! We find her, find her, find her, around the whole village. Nobody see her. Nobody knows her goes. Wait, uh, Erasmus. Sir. Are you saying my wife could be a ghost? Um, um sir, uh, I didn't say so. But if you listen and well, please wait it, appear, disappear, appear, disappear. Wait till you won't call her. What do I do now? Should I call the police? What do I tell them happened to her? Who would believe that the wife I just got married to disappeared into thin air? Just like that! No. No one will believe me. People will accuse me of using her for money ritual. What do I do now, God? But the question still remains, how did she get out of this house with everywhere locked? Are you sure Amara is not a ghost?
Where are you coming from? What happened? Talk to me. Where are you coming from? Amara. Talk to me. I need to take a shower first. Okay, fine. You, you can go upstairs and take a shower. We'll talk about it later. any of my belongings. How? I mean, I can't find my jewelry, my shoes, my bags, my clothes. What do you mean you can't find any of your belongings? What? What are you? should be asking you that question, what's going on? Really? 
I am the one to explain to you about the strange happenings in a house you've been living in for years. I have never experienced any strange happening in this house since I bought it. So you start explaining to me what is going on here. What are you insinuating? Where were you last night? How did you even manage to leave this house while every single door in this building remained locked? Oh, please don't get it twisted. I am not a kid. You either tell me the truth or this marriage will be over. And right now. What truth are you talking about? That's the very first night in my husband's house. I slept on the same bed with him and woke up in... Now all my belongings are gone, and presumably to that same refuse dump. Obira, you better start talking, because I need an explanation right about now. Who is that? Okay, I'm here, Hey, what is it? Okay, you get some bags and clothes where I see outside the gate. They resemble the one where Madame Carrie called yesterday. What are you? This gate a few minutes ago, and these things weren't here. I'm confused. What, what's going on here? Eh? I'm getting more scared. These things weren't here. I am. I am sure what I'm saying. I... Erasmus, back the things back into the house. Back the bags into the house. If you're not the one that dropped this thing here, sir, I, I don't know anything about this, so I swear.
worrying over this. I, I, I don't know what's going on, but I promise you I'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Okay? Just stop worrying. How can you possibly tell me that you do not know what is happening in a house you've been living in for years now? Honestly, I don't. I have never experienced this kind of thing since I moved into this house. That's why I'm baffled. Why now? Why is it happening now? Now that I just got in? Why? I wish I knew. But I'm suspecting maybe someone somewhere is trying to manipulate us. Trying to do stuff that will break us apart. But like I said before, I promise you to get to the bottom of this. And all of this will be a thing of the past, okay? It's okay, honey. Stop worrying. really going on? What could be responsible for all those mysterious happenings? The worst is that my wife thinks I know something about them. Oh, God, please help us. Help my marriage. It is too tender to face this kind of challenge. Okay, okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Since when this woman entered this compound, everything don't touch jaga jaga. Eh? Which kind of one woman be this? Of all the women where did this one, and this one, that this one woman, I or go marry. So she don't know where those being there again. Can you see both for here? Who 
is there? See your pot for outside. My food! My food! Hey, madam. Madam, if not the food I see up for outside, do. Make I go pack them. I see up for outside, madam. I see up for outside. Where is the food? Where is the food? Madam, I'm confused. This is exactly where, where it was. Exactly the space. Yes, madam, I am very, very sure. Madam, open the desk. Hey, Madam, let the rice be this. Let the rice. Who pulled it in here? Madam, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. Jesus! Madam. Is everything all right? Everything is not all right and you know it. So quit pretending because I am fed up. Honey, calm down and explain to me exactly what you mean. What do you want me to explain? Since I stepped into this house, I have not had a moment of peace. It's been from one horror to another. You don't want to imagine what I've been through in less than 24 hours. I am tired. Calm down, honey. Please calm down. Myself, I'm just like a bird in a cage. I don't know where all these are coming from. Something is wrong in this house. There is a spirit being living here. A female. I saw her. 
You saw what? A ghost! I saw her at the backyard, and before I could utter a word, she had disappeared. I know what I'm talking about. I am not hallucinating. This is getting serious. Let's run away. Let's relocate somewhere. Somewhere. Let's just relocate somewhere and get a flat. It's better to live in a flat in peace than living in this haunted mansion of ours. I honestly have never seen any mysterious thing around this house since I moved in here. But I need you to be at peace. So I will buy a new house. And you and I will move in there. But I can't do it immediately. Just exercise patient for like a month or so. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself, okay? Make sure nothing bothers you. Still, I'm still afraid. You don't have to be. Okay, you have no reason to be scared. Just have faith that nothing will happen and you'll be fine. I am scared. What if that's strange? Shh. Nothing strange will happen here today. Just have faith. That's it. Repeat after me, Babel. Nothing strange will happen in this house today. Nothing strange will happen in this house today. That's my baby. So you go about your normal duties. Go into the kitchen, make your favorite meal, sit on the couch here, see movies, have fun generally. In no time, I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, why don't you see me to the car? Okay. <laughs> have a blessed day. And you too. Thank you. <laughs> Stop worrying. <laughs>
hallucinating? Am I hallucinating? I can't be the only one seeing, seeing her. and get me my phone. We have, madame. In my room, no. In, in the living room, it's on top of the table. Yes. Thank you. Um, did you see anyone inside? Is anyone supposed to be there? Uh, no, 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 no. I, um, you can't go back to your duty post. Madam. Are you sure everything is all right? Yes, but you said there is no one in there. What you there? didn't see anyone? No, no, there's nobody. Nobody. You can go back to your duty post. Be the only one seeing her. I have to call my cousin. I have to call Adobe. Hello, 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 Adobe. Hello there. How are you? I, 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 I am not fine. I am not fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I, I need to see you now, please. Now? Yes, now. Now. What is it? Can't we talk it over the phone? Because I'm out of town and I'll be back in two days' time. Hey. In two days' time. Yes, Amara. You sound tensed. What is the problem? I, it, it, it's not something we can discuss over the phone. Oh, not to worry when you're back. Eh? I'll wait. I, I, I will wait. Okay. Please, my dear, whatever it is, just calm down, okay? Alright? Alright, bye.
It's me, my man. Obiora! My man! My man! Look at you! Hey! Obiora! Look, look, look at your color! Hey, my man! My brother! You have changed! You have changed! It's good. Thank God. How have you been? I'm fine! This is well, this is one of my cars. Hey! One! You don't want to keep us! You don't want to keep us! How come? It's not something I can explain to you on the streets here. What will happen is I'll give you my card, you give me a call, we'll sit down somewhere cozy and talk. You need to stop doing this. Abby. Yeah, or better still, you come visit me in my house. So you can as well meet my wife. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You're married. I'm happy to marry. You're married? Yes. Hey! Hey! My man, you know, we go can work in Siano. Yeah? Chukwa Hey! Okay. So, here is my card. Give me a call and then I will direct you on how to get to my house. You don't have a call. And this is for you. You need to stop doing this, but come over to the house and talk better. <laughs> hey! Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I need to run along now. I have somewhere to go, but we shall see and talk about this. Hey! Odogu! One minute! I think I'm going to be in here. Hey, I'm going to go
Move it out. Uh, good morning. I'm a IAP. I won't see my friend Ubiora. Which Ubiora? Uh, the one way tall, fair, get body. Oh, 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 eh. Uh, you get one capital way down the street there. Tall, fair, you get body. Uh, my, my, my brother will be. Okay, wait, you won't break my gate. Yes. You be here number three is here on the street, Oliver Avenue. Eh? Hey, now you give me the address now. Now you tell me. Wait, 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 wait. You mean say, number one guy, give you this address? Yes. Obi, all right, chicken. I'm my friend. Eh? My man. Okay. Let me inform him. Okay. Um, what did you say to your name? Syriacus. Syria. Just tell him Sisi, you know. Sisi. Yeah. I'll come and see. Hey! Hey, Uchimo! Eh? So now, Obi on a way me and I'm the whole gala four years ago. Get this guy in big house. Sika! Yay! But how come? How did Obiora make this kind of big money within a short period of time? No condition is permanent, though. Eh? No. Maga say, make it come inside. Eh, thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Hmm? <laughs> yes? This is where you live. This is my house. <laughs> One day, this is paradise on earth. <laughs> Sorry, what do I offer you, Biko? One day, anything. Put it, anything. I go there. Okay, okay food then. Um, my wife will be here shortly so she can arrange something for you to eat. Obiora. You know, Lugo can work at Siano. Alu Banego Guinea fan Alu. I can't believe it's your beer I was hawking gala with four years ago. That you are now a billionaire. I give God the glory. You know, after I stopped hawking, <sighs> I started driving a taxi, a taxi I had on higher purchase. In fact, that taxi nearly drove me back to the village. <laughs> What is it? I saw her. I saw her. You saw who? The ghost. Will you, will you shut up? She's in our room making our bed. I, I, I wanted to go take a shower before she had... Can you shut it? Can you not see we have a visitor? Won't you coordinate yourself? I said I saw her. Can you not coordinate yourself and shut up with a ghost story? What sort of rubbish ghost story is that? Now come and show me the ghost you say you saw. Go ahead and show me the ghost you said you saw. Sorry, eh? I'll, I'll be with you in no time, okay? Don't feel embarrassed. I'm sorry about this. She's in my room. She's in my room. Come and show me the ghost you said you saw. Go ahead and show me the ghost you said you saw. Move this, Oga. Open the gate. Move this gate. What you don't do, my Oga? 
Where's the ladder, my guy? I don't know anything, no, no, your mother and the child goes. Hey! Ghost! Ghost from here, for this house. Where is the ghost? Amara, where is the ghost? I, 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 I saw her. She... Will you shut up before I, I, I give you a death slap? Are you back to embarrass me before, my friend? Do you know what you did? Why are you like this? I, are you possessed? By the way, why are you the only one who sees this ghost? Why haven't I seen it? Why has Erasmus not seen this ghost? Does that not tell you that your little brain needs deliverance? Instead of you to go and seek a solution to what's happening to you, you're, you're here trying to seek someone to tarnish his image. Don't you ever try this again. Nonsense. Wahala we are boxa. Wahala we are boxa come. Imagine Obiora, innocent looking Obiora, went and soiled his hands with blood money. Hey! Obiora, you Of what use is money? Tell me. When the, of what use is money if you don't have rest of mind to sit and enjoy that money? Of what use is money now? Just look at my guy. Nezienu, my guy, as he's running up and down, ghost is chasing him up and down in his own house. His wife does not have rest. He does not have rest. And I am sure, I am sure that the ghost that is chasing him around is the ghost of the person he killed for his money ritual. God forbid! I want money, but I don't want this kind of money. Huh? I know I need money, but you see this money. Hmm. I will not eat this money because I don't want to soil my hand with any blood stained money. I know I am not yet a billionaire, but at least I have the rest of mind. So, first thing tomorrow morning, this money, I am going to burn you. Let me hands off this evil. I don't want any ghost to come here chasing me around because of money. I hope this evil Obiora did not give me this money in exchange for my good destiny. Hey! Wala we are books are come. Wala we are okay books are come. I'm not this money. I am taking this money to the church first thing tomorrow morning. Eh? For prayers. Any if way this guy don't plan against my good destiny. Hey! My destiny, my bright future. Future why I don't see how I go to America come back. Future why I don't see how I take sit down with senators, president, the top. This guy won't tanisha. This guy won't collect her. This guy won't collect my bride destiny with ordinary chicken hundred thousand. Open the chicken and have a go. God will punish you. Tell him tomorrow. Open your Tell him tomorrow. Tell him tomorrow. As they are burning this morning in the 
enjoy tomorrow. Anywhere you are, I hope you are not be there. Anywhere you are, I hope you are or come. You've never seen any video. The ghost that is chasing you around is just a small thing. The fire that will consume you tomorrow, one day, one day, it's a man that will be back on Arabia. Eh? You don't want to go to church, one day. If you believe in Kajina, if you believe in Kajiki, you may be the piano. The fire that will consume you tomorrow, hope you are. It can be the Nada and all can have feelings for sure. One day, they are going to go to the other and all the way. No phone, no day of three and Wait for me. Erasmus. 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 Calling you, madam, all this while your head has been swelling. Eh? I like I like you. See, the next time you call my name, Erasmus, with that respect, I will teach you a lesson you never forget in your life. Is this some kind of joke or what? Hmm. You, you, so nobody told you that your mouth is stinking, your teeth is smelling. Brush your teeth now, madam. Brush your teeth. It's up to here. I would have sacked you right away, but wait until my husband comes. Which husband? Which, do you have a husband? Which man in his right senses will marry an Obadja like you? Alika Kuna like you. Oh, oh, you think because you are fair, you are using your complexion to deceive them. Obadja with international passport. Or you think you are half caste. Because your father is from Abatete and your mother is from Abiokuta. See, by the time I finish with you, you know that me, Erasmus, and the chief security officer of this compound. I was here before you. Ask everybody the one of Olive Avenue. Nobody that does not know Erasmus, the chief security officer. You better start packing your things. Because if I decide to do it for you, if I decide to do it for you, you will regret it. No sense. I can't take this anymore. I can't. Will you stop there, you fool? This is your last warning. Better leave this house in peace. Else I will force you out in pieces. Be warned. Be warned! Hold it, Holy Ghost fire! 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 I cover myself with the precious blood of Jesus. I cover every corner of this house with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Consume them! Consume them! Consume them! Father, consume them! Wherever they are, wherever they are gathering, wherever she is. Holy Ghost fire! Consume them! Wherever they are gathered, wherever he is gathered, wherever she is gathered. Father, don't consume him! Consume her! Consume them! Holy Ghost fire! Blood of Jesus Christ! Blood of Jesus Christ! Blood of Jesus Christ! Consume them! Consume them! Wamba wago wamba na ne wamba wago wamba. Ne wamba wago wamba ya buti se ya ni ba. Na ne wamba wago wamba ya buti se ya ni ba. Ne wamba wago wamba na ne wamba wago wamba na ne wamba wago wamba ya buti se ya ni ba. Na ne wamba wago wamba ya buti se ya ni ba. There's a strong evil force in your house that is responsible for the stretch happening in your home. Strong evil force. Here's the wine. 
I want that evil force destroyed so I can live in peace in my house with my wife. Nane wamba wago wamba, nane wamba wago wamba. Nane wamba wago wamba, ya buti fe ya neva. Nane wamba wago wamba, ya buti fe ya neva. Nane wamba wago wamba, nane wamba wago wamba, nane wamba. Wago wamba ya buti fe ya neva. Nane wamba wago wamba ya buti fe ya neva. Nane wamba wago wamba nane wamba wago wamba. Nane wamba wago wamba ya buti fe ya neva. Bury this in your compound and the evil spirits will never come in there again. Thank you, Ezamai. I will do as you have said. Go in peace. Thank you. Ezamai, this is for the gods. God of Elijah, send them fire. 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 God of Elijah. God of Elijah in the fire. Holy, my son. I see a cloud of darkness covering you. Your friend is a cutting man. He trades on people's destiny. Hey! Mm. Holy. Mm. I said it, you know, be a rabbit, you know, I knew that guy, not the good committee. Yes. Prophetess, hey. mm. mm. please. Mm. Please help me and retrieve mm. my good and wonderful destiny. Mm. I will help you, my son. Thank you. How much did he give you? How much? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. One she ago. Mm. Are you with the money here? Yeah? Mm. Holy. Mm -hmm. Drop it in the white bowl. I hope it's complete. Mm. I did not remove fatten from the money. Okay. Ay, the money is in. 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 I will retrieve your destiny Holy. from the kingdom of the occultic. Holy. Receive. In the name of that, receive your destiny. Holy angel. Receive your destiny. Amen. Receive. Ah. Amen. Receive it. Amen. My child, you are set free. Go, Ajay. Amen. 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 It is settled. Amen. Stand up. Go, Ajay. Ami, 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 Ami,
Where's the fire? No, 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 no. Okay, if I'm only there, make a bring water. Get out of here, I'm telling you. Where's my wife? Erasmus. Sir? Where's my wife? Um, Oga, she came out since morning. She didn't tell me where she was going. Since morning? Yes, sir. Hello. Where are you? I'm at my cousin's place. Since morning till now? I'm not coming back to that house. How? What, what do you mean? I have seen so much in just a few days. I am not coming back to that house. I do not want to die here. Please.
What's going on? What's, what's all this? All I ever wanted was to have a sweet and happy home. How did I marry the wrong woman? Yes, now. That woman. I'm very sure she's an Obanje. Since she come out, see us every way, they quiet and peaceful. Eh? I know if you know how Oga take marry this Obanje woman. In that parking, go back to her village people before she go use my Oga for sacrifice. Eh? But I keep asking myself, of all the women in this world, why he be say, now this Obanje woman, my Oga marry? Because he knows what I'm talking about. He's only pretending. Calm down, Amara. Calm down. The truth means that you're not, you're not sure. There's a possibility that your husband does not know anything about the strange happenings in your house. No, 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 no. I beg to disagree. I mean, he's been living in that house for years now. You can't tell me he isn't aware that there are strange forces in that house. Like I said earlier, I am not going back there. I do not want to die young. Running away from your home is not the best way to conquer. I mean, you need to pull hands with your husband and fight for your marriage. Because if he don't, Nobody will do it for you. Not even me. Your dinner is ready. want from me? What I want from you? Yes. What do you want? I did everything I was required to do. So why are you here? You know why I'm here. I don't know why you are here. So tell me. Really? Do I owe you an explanation for being here? My presence here is legal. Before man and before all the deities that govern the spirit world. You, you brought me here. And I will never share this place with another woman. Never! What is this? What have I done? How did I get into this trouble? What is all the fun? Eh? Lord. Good morning, sir. Keep that your useless duty. Keep it. What is good morning, sir? Where is my money? Hey, Ogalan Lord. Hey, 
Please. And next week I go bring the money call you. Thunder fire you! Thunder fire you! <sighs> Is it not the same thing you told me last three weeks? You told me the same thing last week. And you are telling me today. Look at me. Am I your mate? If you don't pay me my money now, I will do something to you that you will never forget in your life. Oh, God, Lord, I beg. I beg. Just give me next week. I, 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 I will give you the money. I'm not leaving here until you pay me my money. How can you be living in someone's house for two and a half years without thinking of payment? Is that not wickedness? You are heartless! Okay, oh, Lord, I beg, I beg, I beg. It's not intentional. Eh? But please forgive me and give me this last chance. Eh? Next week I will pay you. Is it not 75,000? I will pay you next week. I swear. I swear, if I don't pay you next week anything where you like, do to me. Now listen, I'm giving you 30 days. 30 days. If I come back and you do not pay me my money, you will not like me. If you rock all the if you idiot. Thousand PG come, I would have used to pay my house rent. I need to get change. I can't go dash profiters in the name of retrieving stolen destiny. Which destiny, self? Which destiny? I get destiny as I did so. I get future. I get hope. Common house rent. I know if you pay. Common 75,000. I know if you pay. I get future. For the past six years, I did this time. I did this time. The hustle under the sun, the whole gala. No improvement. No improvement. Rather, my condition is getting worse. Yes, now. Nah. I don't say my condition better six years ago. Pass now. Nah. My God. God, 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 God. Which kind of nonsense mistake be this? Which kind of year mistake? Which kind of move mistake be this? Eh? Even if I call people once this is this is my kind of thing they go steal. What did they go use and do? What did they go use and do? I could go collect that money. That prophetess, she will give me back that money. She go give me my hundred thousand pitch come. At least I go use and pay house rent. Which one is this one? Make your call people. Make they take the destiny. Obiora around his group. Take the destiny. Prophetess, go give me back my hundred thousand pitch come. You can use and pay house rent. My brother, that is. What I saw with my own two eyes. I'm still confused at the moment. <sighs> I have not heard this kind of story in my life before. It sounds like fairy tale. Exactly. When my wife told me about it, it sounded like a fairy tale. Until I saw with my own eyes. Did you tell your wife you have seen the ghost too? No, I didn't tell her. She's not in town at the moment. Okay. I, I, I really need a strong spiritual help. Yeah, you seriously need help. I'm still trying to figure out what she meant by she, she wouldn't share my house with another woman. Ask your wife or what? Ask me, oh my brother. Ha. Huh. <sighs> this is serious. Ask me, oh, is a woman more? 
sounds funny, but it's serious. Court men and hand over my hundred thousand to me. Which hundred thousand are you talking about? Angels have carried the money. Don't carry and go ever. Eh? Angels have carried my own hundred thousand naira. Yes. <laughs> Who called the angels? Maybe come carry the money. I did. Thank God you said the truth. I prayed and they come carry the money. Yes. Fine. Pray again. So then they say, make them bring back my hundred thousand. What do you do for something very important? So, why am I even discussing this here with you? Eh? Will you leave my temple before I turn you to a rat right now? Ah, Madam, you don't want to finish eh? You don't hire and you won't change that for me. Madam, I know they see your face. You see, eh? If you don't give me that hundred thousand naira now, if you don't give me that money now, I will scatter this nonsense place to call them both. I will put everything here down. Calm, calm down, my son. You know you need the destiny more than you. Madam, are you the one to tell me what I need? Madam, are you going to tell me what I need? Madam, give me my money. Calm. Give me my money. I want it to you. I want change that for you. Give me my money. I beg, my son. Calm down. Eh? Don't come and scatter my business, my temple. Eh? <clears throat> Even if you scatter this place, you will not see any money, eh? I'm using to pay my children's fees, please. Eh? So no decide to carry the money again. Okay? You carry and pay all your children's fees. But I give you money. Give me your money! You the place, I'm going to tell you! I'm going to call you my money! Please help me. I'm confused. I love my husband so much. And I miss him too. But I can't go back to that house. No, 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 no. I can't. Oh, please God, help me. Help us. Save our marriage. It's way too tender to face this kind of crisis. Please help us. Amen. <laughs> You start with me. I think we should go see my pastor. I believe his prayers will help us. Please, please, I am ready to do anything just about now to see my husband. I miss him. I, I, I miss him. I want to be with him. I understand. Okay. His counseling day is a day after tomorrow. Yes. A day after tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I hope he can deal with that evil spirit. <sighs> Definitely. He's a very powerful man of God. Don't worry, you'll see things for yourself. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. I'm scared. <sighs> <sighs> 
I hate to see you like this. Please. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Grandmaster of Izama. The seven-breasted goddess of the hidden reaches of the dark places of the earth. I worship you. Here is my friend Syriacus. He is tired of life. He is tired of living in abject poverty, so he has come for help. He is willing to sacrifice anything to the goddess in exchange for riches and a good life. I greet you, Grandmaster. Young man, are you sure you are truly tired of poverty? Yes, sir. Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Are you sure you are ready to sacrifice anything for riches? Grandmaster, I am ready to sacrifice anything for riches. Is a request for the soul of your girlfriend, Eliza. Eliza. Grandmaster, so if I sacrifice her, the spirit of Izama will give me riches. Izama, the seven-breasted goddess of wealth and affluence, will turn you into a billionaire as soon as you sacrifice her soul. No problem. I will bring her for sacrifice. So, so this money ritual thing is this easy? Yeah. I was even thinking they would demand for my mother or my lovely sister. Or for that foolish, stupid, senseless, idiotic Eliza. Ah! I have given her to them. I have given her to them. In fact, tomorrow morning I am going to Biora's house. I will tell him that I am ready for money ritual. He should take me to their occult temple. As long as the person they will demand for me is that nonsense girl. Ah, one day I am in for the ritual. Kahabunyamike. I am not looking at one case here now because this poverty, poverty has dealt with me and enough is enough. Tomorrow now this my troublesome, jobless and love will come here and start disturbing my life. I have to end it now. How are you doing? I'm fine. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. You can sit. Please. I I am very sorry, dear. I ran away to your daddy. I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. I'm the one who should apologize for embarrassing you in my own house. Get up. Get up and sit. Sit down. It's okay. Thank you. You're really your brother. Oh, what do I offer you now that you have enough time? Um, just forget about it. I don't, I don't want to waste time. You can't come to my house and not want to take anything. 
I hope all is well. Uh, Udugi, all is well. Uh, the only challenge I have is uh, that help you promised to help me the other time. I have thought about it. I have made up my mind. I am ready. So that is why I came. I see. That's a good one. I even forgot. Okay, let me go straight to the point. I will have you go learn a trade or a business, any one of your choice. Within six months to a year, come back to me and I'll give you money to set up your own business. Udugu, Udugu, I am not talking about business. I don't know if you buying and selling. Eh? What I am saying is that, I need to boutique. I don't to go to the house. I don't want to go to the house. I don't want to go to the Please, show me the way. I am ready. I don't understand what you mean by that. That's why I'm asking you to go learn a trade so I can sponsor you. That's the way. Uh, Obiora, why are you talking as if... Why are you talking as if you don't understand what I'm saying? Eh? You know, you know what I'm saying. Listen, eh? Whatever the occult people will demand, I am ready to give them anything they will demand. Offer anybody they will demand. Please, take me to your occult temple. Eh? Let them initiate me. Say, Bunye Mike, can not look at what you say? Wait a minute. What secret occult temple are you talking about? Are you in any way insinuating I'm a ritualist? Ubiora, I am not a baby. I am not a child. I'm a mifana. Eh? I'm a medical committed. I know. How would you explain the, 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 the ghost story your wife was telling the other day? I know that story is related to ritual or wego, a bani boutique. So I want you to take me there. Kambutike, let me be a billionaire. You must be insane to think I'll soil my hands to be a member of such such very dirty organizations. Pure Abiko, help me. Look at this idiot I was trying to give five million naira to start his own business. Coming to accuse me of being a ritualist, really? You want to give me five million? Get out of my house and never to be seen here again. And more. My mom. I am sorry. I said get up and get out of my house. Please forgive me. Just give me the fact. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Out! Let me not ever see you here again. Please. You need to give me the five million. Five million. Get out of my house. Look at this. This idiot. Oh, you think everybody who is comfortable is a ritualist, right? That is what you have to do, my sister. You see, he needs you now more than ever. You have to stand by him until this battle is over. Do not relent in your prayers. Because the weapons of our warfare are not gone, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I will do as you've said, Pastor. Thank you. May the Lord strengthen you. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Patient of the elite chariot of Israel, unto thee shall the gathering of your people as ye have come before. Father, we are standing at the feet of our Master Jesus. That's me, the Jesus, you know you can't help me. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Let me be in this life. I am human and you are a spirit. The living and the dead have nothing in common. That will no matter what is this. Why? Why do you always remind me of my body, which has decayed beneath the earth? I lost it because of you. No, you lost it out of your own carelessness, not because of me. If you did not plan! Please stop. 
do not remind me of the past long buried. Yes, I accept the blame. But maybe that is the way the Creator wants to bring us together. I love you. I never have the opportunity to love and be loved while I was alive. But that day, after you paid my bright price, my heart melted for you. And for the first time, I felt this beautiful thing called love. Please, Obim, I beg you, look beyond the physical and give me a chance in your life. Let's get used to ourselves and be happy just like every other couple out there. God forbid bad thing, not me and you. I only agreed to pay your bride price because your father said that was the only way you were going to rest in peace. I did it so you could rest in peace and leave me alone. Not come into my house and try to torment me for the rest of my life. Leave me alone now. direct from the village. This thing that is happening to me, it is from the village. How can somebody ask me to go and lay a thread, then come back and he will give me five million bagam to start a business? Five million naira! And I was there talking rubbish. No leva have now a couple man said. Hi! I don't know why for collect by now for don't become millionaire. I was there talking rubbish. Syriaco, Syriaco, Syri. Ah, God. But we do. We do. How can Ubiora tell me, me Syriaco says, "Boy, no bro, my van alo," that he does not belong to a secret society? How come the ghost his wife saw in his house? if he does not belong to a secret court. And what kind of buying and selling will someone be doing in this country that will give him the kind of money Obiora has within a short period of time? Obiora, you are not telling me the truth. You are obviously not telling me the truth. You don't want to let me into what gave you money. You feel you are now. But no problem. As I don't make up my mind, say I go join secret court. I go look for better secret court. Enter. Use a laser for sacrifice. They wouldn't make it. The next time you will see me, I am going to make you take the New Testament. But he told me that I should come today and collect my money. I don't know, I don't know. It's only the afternoon. He might have gone to work. If he comes back, say I 
claim that I'm coming back tomorrow to collect my money. And if he fails, I will not only seize his property. I will lock him up in the cell. Okay, sir, so I do. Promise. The only difference between us is my body, which I no longer wear. Please, I beg you again, look beyond the physical and give me a chance. Please, I beg you, Kim. I am begging you for my own part. Leave me alone. I don't love you and I will never love you. Just leave me alone. Go, go away. Break our bond, and I would gladly leave. What bond? What bond? What bond, Wabiko? What bond? The bright prize. Retrieve it from my father. And I will be out of your life completely. But before you do that, I would like you to know that I am the source of your wealth. And I shall live with everything I brought into your life. All the wealth. And you shall return to the dust of poverty. Where I picked you from. You lie! You're not the source of my wealth. I won't believe your lies. So you have forgotten how wretched and miserable you were before you paid my bride price. Obiara, you think the sudden influx of wealth into your life was a mere coincidence? Obi, I fought. I wrestled with spiritual forces and separated you from the cause that kept you in abject poverty. I, I paid the price for your financial freedom because of the bond holding us together. If the bond be broken, the price will lose its efficacy and the cause of poverty shall return. The ball is in your court. Make your choice. Why do this only more happen in this life? Why do this only more to leave me alone? What did I do? What did I do to water this kind of torment in my own house? Forgive me, forgive me.
Where is your father? He died a long time ago. Only your father can lift the cause if Ujumwa drops it. But now that he's dead, no one else can leave the cause if she drops it. I cannot go back to poverty. You are the committed already. At the same time, I need a woman in my life. I need a woman to bear me children and perpetuate my name when I'm long gone. I need a family to enjoy all this wealth with. Is there no sacrifice or anything I can render to make the gods fight this for me? I'm sorry. No sacrifice. You have to choose between the two options. Live without a woman and remain rich. Break the bond and go back to poverty. Nothing else can be done. Yeah. What did they do yourself? And they tell you that they sick, you they talk of money. Eh? Which girlfriend for this world they treat in boyfriend as you take the treatment now? Eh? But, but, but wait. Which boyfriend go even think say he go borrow money from in girlfriend? He no go like pay. Pay me my money now. I they give you as you want. So if you borrow money from me, you pay me. I go pay you. Eh? I go pay you, but pay I me. beg, no be today. Eh, hey, make I just carry this small change, go buy medicine, drink. Tomorrow I go give you your money. Mm. Eh, hey, now. Tomorrow I go give you. You sure? I go give you. I go even buy you bling bling John on top. <laughs> like, you serious? No. You go change my shoe. I go do am, I go do am. Make I just the work I beg. I know. I make I love you. Many I shall I said I go. But I say, since I don't meet you here, I still go back where I'm from come. May not be like say I they disturb you. I'm going back. Oh. Just be careful. Give me my money tomorrow. Slide it to the place. Slide it. Slide it. Slide it. Slide it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah. Nah, which kind of man be me this? How take me this nonsense girl? How take me this to be girl now? Nah? Oh God, go show me, go show me your court temple where I feel sacrifice this girl make money. Ha! This girl just disturbance to my life. How do I explain this? What do I tell the world? How do I bear this shame? Returning to poverty after testing such massive wealth? Returning to a nobody after commanding such affluence? No. This can't be. But what uses wealth without a family to enjoy it? How do I raise offsprings to sustain my lineage without getting married to any woman? What becomes of my name when I die? What reason will I give the world for not getting married? This is serious. I want a family. A happy home. And I also don't want to go back to poverty. How do I get out of this dilemma? How? You're welcome, my husband. You are testing. I am not your husband. Why can't you leave me alone? Leave me alone! I have done nothing wrong other than love you. All I ask is for you to love me back. I don't. I can't and I will never love you. In fact, I hate you! Why keep me here when you don't want me? Break our bond and I will go to the world beyond and rest. Why tie my soul to yours when you hate me this much? Your father lied to me. He did not explain all these things to me. Leave me alone. Now you know. Go and retrieve the bright prize. I want to go. I am tired of your hatred.
I'm sorry. I rushed out of the hospital immediately. I was confused. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to contact anybody who knew who she was. Fortunately for me, a call came into her phone. I picked and it was her father. I told him what happened. And in no time, he was at the hospital. Doctor, how is My God! Let's see. Um, let's see in my office. I don't have time for the office. I want to see my daughter now. I'm here. Well, um, I'm sorry, sir. Did our best, but we lost her. What? You lost who? Hey! 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 He got me arrested and locked me up in the police cell. After a few days, he came back for me. He bailed me out and even drove me himself to my house. Please, I want you to understand that what I did down there was out of hand. Ned is not easy to use. The most annoying part of it is that she was still graduating from the university in the last few months. So, her country was not hard as it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. I wish there was something I could do to reverse this whole situation. Is it clear what has happened in the You blaming yourself for your change in You say the truth, it was not your fault. So, uh, and you know, you, you try your best to sit down, to stand the chance of you. Know. So it is not your fault, it's not your own fault. Now you are being your mistake. It's as easy as coming. Thank you. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Shall take care of you. Stop telling me this thing you're telling me. How does it even sound to you? That I should go and pay the bright, bright price of a dead person. Fine, I know I cost her her debt, but it was an accident, and you know that. So this one will not work, oh. Honestly, it will not work. No, I am not forcing you. Yeah? I'm only begging you. It's just to present small money that will cover our fire. And I am begging you to stop begging me. What 
What is all this one, Kwano? How do you even do that? I should go and pay the bypass of a dead person. I bet I can't remember that one. And I could go and see I cannot do this, so I can't. I am not saying that you should pay for a dead person. But what I'm saying is that you should present small money to cover up for her bad price. Something that would have been done if she were to be alive. You know, it's going to be very dangerous to you if this thing is not done. I have paid to get to chase everybody, even the entire family yeah, and the village. So what if I ran away when I knocked her down? Who would you have helped to come and pay her, her bride price? Nobody. But, but I mean, just like I've just said, it will, it will be very, very disastrous and dangerous. Her spirit will not press her. That is your village. In my village, you do not pay the bride price of dead people. Leave me alone, Biko. I wish you would understand that this is a tradition. It is not our tradition in our place. I cannot pay the bride price of a dead person. That is the point. The issue lingered for days. Arguments upon arguments, they just went on and on. The father had to involve his kinsmen and even the community. At some point, the pressure was so much I had to succumb. I paid her bright price. I, I did it because I wanted her to rest in peace. Instead, she began to follow me. She began following me everywhere. I, I didn't even realize she was following me until a few days ago when she appeared to me in this house. This is serious. She said, the only condition she would leave me alone to be in peace. Is that I go and collect the bride price I paid on her head. Then go and take the bride price. She says she's the source of my wealth. But if I took back that bride price, I would go back to abject poverty. I do not believe her. That's a lie. I met a spiritualist who confirmed exactly what she told me. That if I collect that bride price, I would go back to abject poverty. She told me if I want to remain in wealth, I should never get married. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Nobody, not even a ghost, will take my husband or his wealth away from me. Oh, listen to me. Listen. I know the God I am serving. There is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Okay? There is nothing to be afraid of. Bunera me zendu, iyarara mi yata, iya, ezendu, iyarara mi yata, mwa kuru kanudu, iyarara mi yata, iya. Great one. Okay, di biobu odado. This is the picture of the girl I want to use for the money ritual. This person is empty, eh? very, very empty. Her destiny has been used by someone else long ago. Yes, and the thing they used her to do is so powerful that any man who sleeps with her becomes as useless and as empty as she is. Hey! Oh yes! She is a channel through which that occultic kingdom steals the destinies of men. Once you sleep with her, 
you are finished. Okay, that way. I am finished. I am finished. Yes. From what I can see, young man, you are truly finished. Hey, listen, I am truly the Bulugus of Liam. Hi! Onion Chalili! The Bulugus of Liam Futono! Hi! He cut short my life, yet I loved him and gave him my all. I wrestled with spirits and deities for his freedom. Now that he is free, he thinks he can throw me into a trash just because of him. Please, 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 please don't hurt me, please, please don't hurt me. I have warned you over and over again, but you refuse to heed my warning. This is the end of the road for you. Please, please, please don't hurt me. Please. Jesus! 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 What is it? Hmm? I saw her. You saw her? Again? He 
darling, please. You, you need to go and retrieve that bright price. So that it will break whatever bond you have with that evil spirit. Please, my love, please. out of this dilemma. How? <sighs> Honey, I thought you were supposed to go to that girl's week. To retrieve her bright price. Yeah, I know. But I changed my mind. You changed your mind? But we had agreed on that last night. Yeah, we did, but I changed my mind. I need some time to think about it. You, you chose her over me. You chose a dead girl over me? Have you ever experienced poverty? Of course, no. You were born with a silver spoon. If you know what it means to live in abject penury, you wouldn't advise me to go take back that bright price. God still blesses. God still blesses. God, God can still bless you. Let her go with whatever she claims she brought you so that God can give you true riches. Darling, listen to me. The blessings of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Where was God when I was suffering? Where was he when I was living in abject poverty? When I was hawking the whole street under the scorching sun? Where was he when I had nothing to feed on? When I almost died? When I was accused wrongly as a taxi driver? Where was he when all these things were happening? Now, don't you ever bring that God story to me. Sit your butt down here and give me ample time to think about it and ponder how to go about all this. God still blesses. He still gave true riches. She didn't bring all this. 
He... I know that my God will still bless you. He will still bless you. My girlfriend, the girl I was sleeping with, is a channel through which all court men take other people's destiny. I didn't know. I didn't know. Elisa, you finished. Elisa, can you make it? Can you make it, Elisa? Can you make it, Elisa? Pastor, please. Please, I am begging you. Pray and deliver me from the shackles of this occult man, Biko. I promise you, if you deliver me, I swear, I, I will not follow women again. In fact, if I see women crossing, I will close my eyes. Please. It's okay, my brother. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12, it says that as many as receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. And again, it says in the book of First John, that if we confess our sins, that is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus Christ is able to protect you. He will build a wall of fire around you. That's why he said in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1, that there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Let the occultic men do whatever they want. So long as you are in Christ Jesus, they can never get you again. And you said they've tampered with your destiny. Jesus Christ is the only destiny giver. He will rewrite your destiny, I assure you. With a spoken word, he created the whole universe. And with a spoken word, I'm going to pronounce on you, your destiny will be revisited. Amen. And renewed. Amen. Are you willing to give your life to Christ? I am willing. Good. Now, I will lead you to Christ. That's the dilemma I have found myself in. My brother, money is good, yes, but not to be compared with the joy of having your children around you. No matter how rich you are as a man, my brother, until you produce your own offspring, you are not considered a man in Ibo land. Are you the one saying this? Yeah, my brother, I choose to be poor with children and to be rich without children. Yes, life without children is like a forest without trees. Yes, your children are your security for tomorrow. They shall be your legs when your legs can no longer carry your body. They shall be your eyes when your eyes must have grown dim. They shall take care of you when you must have grown old. Above all, they will sustain your name here on earth and keep your lineage going after you must have joined your ancestors. My brother, nothing, absolutely nothing, can be compared with the joy of having your own children. They buy you a horse. Mwakego, my brother. Yes. Have you ever experienced poverty? Have you ever existed in abject penury? Have you thought about that? My brother, you are still entitled to your own opinion. I'm telling you my own choice. Yes.
sure this is just... Anybody here? Anybody here? Anybody here? That's exactly what I saw today. As I'm speaking with you now, I don't know what else to do. So, why was she pressurizing you to retrieve the bride price? 
when I believe she knows that her father is dead and there is no one to give it to you. I don't understand. I honestly do not understand this. I think it's high time we sought the face of God for his mercy and divine intervention. And we have to invite a pastor. No. All those pastors are fake. No. Allow me to invite mine. I believe God is going to fight our battle through him. Please, darling. Please. I've not seen any pastor. Don't want to do. Which is. Return to the house. Take anything of value from the compound. Go to the man's grave. Tell him you're taking it in the place of the daughter's bride price you paid. Return with it to your home. And that dead girl's spirit will never appear to you again. Okay. Thank you, S and Y. I will do as you have said. Go in peace. last night and while I was praying the Lord spoke to me concerning me. Yes. The Lord said that all that the evil men have stolen from you that he has restored them back. Praise the Lord! <laughs> thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Um, thank you, Jesus. I will advise you to be spiritual and prayerful. 
as we await the manifestation of God's blessings. I will, Pastor. I will, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's God. We should be thanking. We should be thanking God. Um, secondly, uh, there's a vacancy in this church. If the church wants to employ a driver, a personal driver that will be taking me around. So I, I don't know if you'd be interested. And the offer goes with free accommodation and monthly salary of 70,000 Naira. So I don't know if you'd be interested. So I can hold on to that as we you know, look forward to the man mega manifestation of his blessings. Pastor, I'm interested. I'm interested, Pastor, I'm interested. Sure. Yes. Then the job is yours. You can start off tomorrow. No, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, you should be thanking God. Please stand up, sit pastor, down. Pastor, been now? Yeah, who have been? Who have been? What do I do, Pastor? <laughs> it's God. It's God at work. Please just sit down. I know it's God at work, <laughs> but the Lord used you at last. All praises and thanks should go to Him. <laughs> so who have been? I am taking this bucket from your compound in replacement of the bride price I paid on your daughter's head. That's the condition she gave for her to rest in peace. And I'm doing that for her to rest in peace because I know that her peace is all you have ever wanted, which was the main reason you asked me to pay her bride price. I have come to take this bucket and I have come to seek your permission. Please let me go peacefully with it. 
May your soul continue to rest in peace. Thank you. the end of you. Okay, 
Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to assure you that you are now a new creature. Amen. All things have passed away and all things are new. Amen. In the course of our prayers, the Lord revealed to me that there was a curse placed on you by your father which was not reversed before his death. Why don't your father want to pay your school fees? He said he doesn't have money and my mother is very sick. I know your mother is very sick, but that is not enough reason for your father not to pay your school fees. I am supposed to send you back home now, but I will not. I am going to give you three days of grace. 
which if your father do not pay your school fees, I am going to send you back home. Which means you are not going to write your promotion exam with your classmates. When you get home, tell your father all I have said. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Go back to your class. What are you doing here all alone? She's crying. Chisum, why are you crying? Oh, children said I'm not going to write the promotion exam. Why? Did you do anything to her? I've not paid my school fees. Then tell your father I should come and pay so that I can write the exam. My father said I spent all his money on my sick mother. I'm so sorry about that. Huh? I want to write the exam. I don't want to repeat the class. Just tell our teacher that your mother is Yes, but she said it's not enough for reason. And she also said that I have only three days to pay up, else I'll not be allowed to write the exam. I'm so sorry. It's okay, stop crying. You will write the exam. Just pray. Pray that God will provide the money so your father will pay before the three days expires. It's okay, stop crying. It's okay, yeah? It's so fine. Let's go to the class. Where is the money? Go and pay your school fees. Who gave it to you? My dad, but you see, I should not tell anyone. Miss Chisum, don't tell anyone that he gave you the money. Even our teacher or any of our friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. God be very sorry of you. Amen. Amen. Miss Chisum, go now and give it to our teacher. Sorry, please, please. Miss promise me that you will not tell anyone that I gave you the money. I promise. I want to pay my school fees. I want to pay your school fees. Why? Why didn't your father come himself? Um, because I took my mother to the hospital. Wait. Wait. Listen. You said your father gave you this money? Yes. Are you sure that your father gave you this money? Yes. Listen, you are lying. Where did you get this money from? My father gave it to me. This money is far beyond the school fees. In fact, it's three times above the school fees. Tell me the truth. Where did you get this money from? My father gave it to me. Chisum, if you don't want to tell me the truth, I will tell the headmistress and she will expel you from this school. Are you ready to tell me the truth? Where did you get this money from? My father gave it to me. Chisum, Chisum, who gave you this money? Where did you get it from? Chisum, tell me the truth. Where did you get this money from? Chisum, where did you get this money from? No. No. Did, did you see the money I kept in the room? The money I was supposed to pay the laborers with. I didn't see any money. You didn't see any money? Yes, again. You didn't take it. I didn't see it. Not talk of taking it. Then you did. What's wrong? No. Eh? That means somebody entered this house while I went to see my man Collie. Hey! I am feeling yeah, Maya, calm down. Ah. Calm down. Have you searched everywhere in that room? 
and you didn't see the money. Nice again. I have searched everywhere. I turned that room upside down and I couldn't find it. In fact, I bought that money this morning. Jiakam Gwanya put it inside nylon and kept it on the table in the room. Let me understand you very well. Mm. Are you saying you left our house open when you went to see my man calling? No, I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. I'm about Nando Shigabi. Eh? <laughs> what do I tell the laborers? Give them my gun, then I roll them what to what do I tell them? Hey, oh. I'm still finding it very, very difficult to believe that somebody will step his feet into my compound, enter my house, oh, and see my oh, my It shall never be well with you who have entered this house mm. and took the money I kept. I cost you today, it shall never be well with you. Whatever you lay your hand to do will never prosper. You shall look for money and money will be far from you. You will struggle from morning to night, but you will get nothing. As far as you step your feet on the side of this ground, you will never get anything you desire in life. You will suffer all the days of your life. Someone stepped into my compound. Someone had the guts to step into my compound, to steal from me. This cannot happen. I wonder who is not here. Eh? Ghost of our land do not know here. The son I speak to you today, to act upon my word, carry out each and every word that comes out of my mouth. He said, so shall it be upon whoever that came to my house, to steal the money in my house, who came here and insulted me. You will remain insulted for the rest of your life. You will remain poor for the rest of your life. You shall never see anything good. Nothing good will ever come your way. So shall it be. I I have spoken and I have decreed. Let me see it not to come to pass. He said, don't worry. We will get to the end of this thing. Teacher. What do you want to do with me? What do you want to do with me? What do you want to do with me? What we will we understand why you did what you did but you must understand one thing. When someone takes what does not belong to him, that act is called theft. The person that did it is a thief. And that is exactly what you did. You performed an act of stealing by taking your mother's money and you did not tell her so you stole her money notwithstanding the intention yes <laughs> that was why your mother flogged you mercilessly in the afternoon she did not flog you because she hates you no but because she dislikes that act. She despises stealing. She does not want to see you grow with such attitude. You know it's a very bad attitude. Do you want to become a thief? Mm. Good. Good. Okay. You must.
must not have such attitude in you. And it must not repeat itself again. Repeat the case. If he dares it, I have told him. And he knows that. If you dare take what does not belong to you again, I will kill you alive. You trust me. You know what I can do. Obiwa, now apologize to your mother. I'm very sorry. I'm not what you know, my friend. Good. Obiwa, you've had him. Hmm? You need to forgive him. <laughs> I've already done that. Um, actually, why I called all of us out here by this time of the night is because of what I want us to do. You know what we did. We placed a curse on the person that stole your money. Yes. We were thinking that it was an outsider. We didn't know that the person that did it belongs to us. The main thing here is that we need to reverse that cause. Exactly. So, please, reverse that cause. <coughs> Place your hand on him. Obi are my son. You took my money without my permission. And now that you brought back the money, I will reverse the cause I placed on you. I nullify every cause I placed on you. It will not come to pass. It will not work. I nullify it. I nullify it. I free you from every cause. I cancel everything I said against you. It will not have effect on you. It will never have effect on you. The cause will not have effect on you. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. Uh -huh. Good. Um, what do you <clears throat> As your mother has forgiven you, I, your father, I have also forgiven you. All the causes I placed on you is hereby reversed. He said, I will not only reverse them, but I am equally nullifying all of them. He said, it will not have any effect on you. He said, it will not have any effect on you. He said, it will not have any effect on you. He said, it will not have any effect on you. He said, you are free indeed from all the causes, my son. He said, and so shall it be. He said, mm -hmm. What are you doing here all alone? I'm not going home. Why? How do I tell my parents that I failed again? How will I tell them that I will repeat class again? They will kill me for wasting their money. They will not kill you. They are your parents. And I know no matter what happened, they still love you dearly. Bra, please, let's go home. I'm not going home. Let's go home. Else, your parents start looking for you. Ngozi, what is happening to me? Before I used to be the best student in our class, but now I am the worst. I always feel very sleepy whenever our teacher is teaching, and I don't understand anything she says. I'm not happy you have to repeat one class two times. But you will not kill yourself. Just keep trying. One day everything will change. We are free. Let's go.
No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, sir. Yeah. Don't worry, sir. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> so, what is, what is the problem? I am here because of uh, Obiora's recent performance in the class. Mm. A boy who used to be the best in the class is now the worst student so far. He sleeps during the lesson period. When you ask him questions, he cannot answer. This thing gives me so much Concerned to the extent I started a private lesson for him. But the more you teach, the worse he becomes. So I just came to know if he is sick or something. Hmm. I am worried. I am extremely worried because of my son's situation. Hi. He is my only son, and that is why I am concerned. Mm. The situation is getting out of control mm -hmm. as I speak. Because you will ask my son, Obiora, to go and get something in the kitchen for you. He gets to the kitchen, he will break the bottle of oil in the kitchen. Error. Knowingly or unknowingly, I don't know. You will send him on an errand. He will not get there. He gets back home. Where is what I asked you to buy? He will tell you he forgot it. Something is definitely wrong. Tell me, where is it coming from? Where is this problem coming from? I am confused. He was never like this. Eh? What's the problem? Um, I think uh, you take him to the hospital for thoroughly check up. Just to check whether the brain is in order. Just to check the brain. If the brain is in order, so you have the brain have crack or something like that nature, no? Mm, teacher. Hmm. Don't worry, just do as I said. Maybe God will help. With God, everything will be possible. I'll be, I'll be going. Hmm? Please, take good care of him. Please. Thank you so much. He is my best student, you know. Thank you so much. All right. is giving me so much concern. <laughs> I am worried. And I have been thinking about it. I keep on thinking on how best to handle the situation. And I've come to a conclusion. The best thing we should do for him is to send him to Ebuka to learn carpentry. Carpentry, Guinea. Carpentry. But you should, you should understand with me. He's going to school is, is meaningless. He is learning absolutely nothing. <laughs> of what use is it to us or for us that we are spending money on him in school? Something we know that is not beneficial to him is not beneficial to us. My, my son is too young to become a carpenter. Let us give him some time. He will still pick up in school. 
He used to be the best, you he remember? Used he used to. Was. Past tense. I get him before no be property. Who go my get him before no be property. Yes. Biko. Nay. Biko. Listen, let me tell you. I am not going to spend another dime on him in that school. I will not do it again. Okay, baby. Nay, please. This boy needs our support. Eba. Let us not abandon him now. Who says we are abandoning him? Let us give him a little more time. He will change. He will pick up. Uh -huh. You know how long we waited before we were blessed with this boy. No matter what, I still believe he is a special child. My people. He is a special child. I agree. His own speciality is not in school. It's not everybody that was created that has the destiny to go to school or to attend school. No! There are people that were created to become mechanics. There are people that were created to become bricklayers. There are people that were equally created to become carpenters. My God. Our soul here is obvious can only survive with a handwork. So let him go and learn carpentry. If not carpentry, we can send him to Uche to learn car repairs and become a mechanic. What he needs is to have a handwork to secure a future. Please, this is interesting. It's time. You want to jeopardize his future? Obiora, what is it? Obiora, I can't even come home with it around What is it? I, I lost the money you gave me to buy it. You lost what? Yeah. I went to Mama Choma's shop and I couldn't find it again. Ah. Look at the person you want to send back to school. Huh? He will go to school. He will lose the school. He will lose everything. Look. How do you work? You sold everything. 
Hey! You are not a big boy, you. I'm so happy. What is happening? Where is the money? Store. That means you lost the money. See, if you know what is good for you, go and look for my money or sister or sister. is responsible for all that your son is going through. What? My husband? Yes. How? Your husband 
laid a curse on this boy. And the effect of that curse is what he is going through now. We both laid curses on him. Our money got missing. We thought somebody came from outside to steal the money. <laughs> so we cursed the person. Not knowing it was her son. And when we found out, we reversed the courses. <laughs> that same night, yes, that same night. You in a man, more. Yes, woman. All the courses were reversed that night. Except that which your husband spoke into the sun. And that can only be reversed before the sun. But all that you and your husband did was in the night. Hey! 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 Now, where is your husband? No, no, no. We need to go and meet your husband now! before it will be late. Because your husband needs to stand before the sun and reverse all the causes he laid on your son. Let's go. It's like he went out. Ah, woman? Prophetess. I need to see your husband here now. If not, there will be a very big problem. Because what I am seeing in the spirit, no one can see it. He needs to be here now. Else, your son here will be doomed. Hey! Yes. Nine. Hey, nine. What is it? Nine. Nine, you're getting tired. Why are you over? Eh, it's not Don't know what happened to him. Yes, we, we tried to wake him. He, he couldn't wake. Nine. Hey. Oh, Oh, 
by the reason of the prayers we've just had here, the curse has been destroyed. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. Secondly, the Lord revealed to me that there's a spirit threatening to take away all that you have and send you to abject poverty. The Lord revealed to me that your wealth did not come from her. All she did was to lift the curse over a period of time. And within that period, the works of your hands prospered. But right now, she has dropped the curse. But in the course of our prayers a few minutes ago, the Lord has destroyed the curse. So you're free for it. Amen. For whosoever the Son of Man shall set free is free indeed. Congratulations. I promise to dedicate myself to the service of the Lord henceforth. Amen. And that I will do for the rest of my life. Hallelujah. Um, Obiora, my brother, please, I am very sorry for mistaking you for an occult man. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. No, no, that is no problem. I understand. Anybody in your shoes who witnessed what happened would assume the same. I've forgiven you. And I will still redeem the promise of five million that I made to you to start up a business. Hallelujah. You will give me the five million. Amen. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Father, thank you for the manifestation of the promise you made to me. You are faithful, Lord. 